Hello there, it's Marco Schwartz here. In this video, I will show you how to actually get started investing on peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms. And as an example, I will use the Mintos platform. So on this platform, I will show you step-by-step -step in this video how to actually create the account, how to invest uh, your first money, so how to deposit money on the account, and then how to choose loans, and finally, how to set up an auto-invest function on the site itself to actually completely automate your investment on this platform. So of course, I needed to choose the platform to make this demo, so I chose Mintos, as I said, but what you will learn inside this video will be applicable to any peer-to-peer -peer lending platform, or at least most of the peer-to-peer -peer platform that you could find, for example, in your own country if Mintos is not available. So really, what you will learn can be applied to most of the peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms that are out there. So now what I will do is actually switch to my screen over there and I will show you step by step how to get started investing on peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms. So let's get started. Here is a Mintos main page from where you will be able to actually create an account. So there are many ways to actually create the account itself, but usually if you're on this main page, you can just click on uh, my account and you can register right there. So you will be able to sign up to Mintos if you are coming from most countries in the world. I don't think for now that they actually accept US-based investors, but you can usually go in the FAQ here and you will find information in case you have a problem uh, to sign up from your country. So to sign up, you can just now actually fill this information and you can fill first name, last name, country, email, phone, password, and then you will be registered and it, this will actually direct you to your account management. And of course, I will not create a new account here because I want to actually show you how a real account looks like. So I will actually log in with my current account. So for that, I will go to my account. I will put my email and also my password over there. And I will just log in. Yep, and now I'm actually logged in into my Mintos account. And you can see that this is the money I have currently invested. Uh, a bit of funds are available and I have this amount actually invested in loans. But that's not what I want to show you here. Uh, what I want to show you is how to actually get started. So before doing anything, people actually ask me, how do I actually put money on Mintos? It's not really, really clear. So. I will show you how to do that. You can just go into this uh, tab here called Deposit Withdraw FX. And here you will be uh, taken to the screen where you can actually choose in which currency you want to deposit money. So for example, I'm using euros mainly. So you can find the it on euros. And this will give you information about how to transfer money on Mintos. So basically, it's very simple. It's only worked by band transfer. Of course, you can use some uh, providers if you are using those, for example, TransferWise, if you are transferring money from another currency, right? Then those here. Uh, and really depending on which country or which currency you want to use, it will change this information here. So you just need to log in into your bank uh, account, create like a new uh, beneficiary. So somebody that you can transfer money to, enter this information, and really don't forget these lines here into the, you know, the text that you can put with every transfer. So it can be called like the reason for the transfer or message to uh, the beneficiary, right? So don't forget this because otherwise your money will arrive at Mintos. They will actually credit it to your account when they see your name, but it won't be automated, right? So I already did a mistake. So it will take you know, some days before you can actually get the money if you follow this line. If you don't, transfer actually in Europe uh, can be as fast as one day or even less than a day in some cases. So it's really fast. So once we have actually money transferred into your Mintos account, you can now actually invest. So to invest, it's very simple. You can do two ways. Um, I will just show you the first way just to get over it. You can actually look at the primary market here. So those are all the loans that are currently available on the Mintos platform. So you could 
of course, and I really recommend that, actually play with this, okay? And just explore some loans, right? So you can really play with this whole interface. I will show you exactly what it means after uh, when we actually see the second way to invest on Mintos. Uh, but here you can already play with it. So for example, you can, let's look at some higher risk um, loans because this is the interest rate. So the higher the interest rate, the higher your returns, but also the higher the risk. And you can just click on on the loan and you will get information about the loan itself and also about the person that will uh, do the loan, the, the breakdown of the investment and yeah, also the interest here. And this loan here, we can talk about that now, comes with a buyback guarantee. It means that ID Finance here will actually buy back the loan from investors if, as it's written, it becomes uh, in default for more than 60 days. So basically with this, right, you are guaranteed that you will get your money back. You won't maybe make a lot of money because they will just give you back, right, the amount of the loan that you invested, not any gain, right? But at least you have the guarantee not to lose money. And we'll see that later uh, when we actually go into how to invest on Mintos. So really I, invite you to take some time now if it's your especially if it's your first time into peer-to-peer -peer lending i invite you to take some time and just go over that and have a, play with those parameters and just have a look at some loans uh, see what it means the interest rate the term if there is a buy back guarantee or not once you did this i will show you how i actually invest on mintos and it's not like manually via those um loans list in here, but I just go into auto invest. And basically Mintos proposes some like feature to actually automatically invest on loans that are listed on the platform. So this is the auto invest uh, function. So as you can see, I have one uh, auto invest function running at the moment, but what I will do is just create a new one Okay, that I won't activate, of course. But just to show you what it looks like when you actually start a new account. So here you can see um, first in which loans you want to invest, right? So the type of the loan is, as you can see, personal or is it a business? Is it a short-term loan? Is it for a car, right? Or to finance an invoice? I usually take all of that because I will filter on other um, parameters later. Countries, I don't care. I can invest in any country as long as the loans are matching the parameters that will define in a moment. And then you have the buyback guarantee, right? And you have to be very careful about that because by default, yes and no are selected, right? So I will of course just select yes because I only want to invest in loans that come with the buyback guarantee, okay? If the loan is not protected, then I just won't invest in it because the worst is actually to lose your money, right? It's not that the return can be low. That's okay. That will happen sometime. But really, the goal is not to lose money. So I will, of course, activate this buy by guarantee here. And then you can fill more parameters here. So as I have a buy by guarantee, I actually don't care that much about the risk, okay? Because even if something bad happened, I would be paid back on my investment. So what I do usually here is on Mintos, I know that I can get at least 12%, okay? So I just put 12% here. That would be my minimum investment, uh, my minimum interest rate that I want to invest in whenever uh, this software basically will invest in loans. I want a minimum of 12. And as you can see, uh, because I put the buyback guarantee, it just removed all those loans that were in this region here. And basically I would invest from 12 to about, yeah, 14. But you don't need to set it. You can just put uh, this here because we have the buyback guarantee. Now the term, well, I like to actually avoid very long uh, term loans, right? Because 
Longer loans usually means uh, higher uh, capital, right? Because it's usually larger projects that people are borrowing for, like a, you know, like a small flat or a house or even like this. So I want shorter term loans because somebody taking a shorter term loan, I think is more likely to repay. So for that, I usually just put my cursor into three years, so 36 months, okay? And of course, you have to check that this matches, right? That um, you don't have zero loans here, otherwise you won't invest at all. So now you can fill some more information about your portfolio, like the name. So I would just create test portfolio. The size is actually how much of your capital you want to be used by this portfolio, right? Uh, so for that, I will simply here as an example, put 10,000. But I recommend just putting, you know, like more than what you actually deposited on the platform because if you actually reach this limit, it will stop investing and that's not what you want. You want to keep growing and growing. Here, investment in one loan, uh, basically it's a minimum that you will, that the software will put into one loan and here the maximum. And as you can see, uh, Mintos tell you that the minimum is 10 euros and I really recommend just putting that, okay? So this is because you want to diversify your investment in as many loans as possible because you don't want to be hurt, right? To not make any profit if something happened to some loans. So here I just put the minimum and you just need to make the calculation, right? Uh, if I invested in all the loans that actually match in my criteria times 10 euro here, right? I would be at 152,000 euros. So of course, if you plan to invest more, right? And if you want all your money invested today, you will need to invest that. But I guess that for most people that are watching this video, it this might be okay. And you know, all your money that you put on the platform will be quickly absorbed by all those loans. And then you just need to click on um, this here, and you can click on save and activate. I will just click on save because I don't actually want to activate this portfolio. I already have one very similar here. Um, and then you can just click on activate if that's not done yet. And you can see that this little light will go green, meaning it is currently active. And then the software will automatically invest. And the very cool stuff is that you don't actually need to do anything. You can just check for example, every month, that's what I do, that your investment is actually growing. So you can check the total balance on your account. You can check that you don't have too many like very late loans. So you can actually see here, uh, like really in action, the buy back guarantee, right? So this, all those loans, right? So a large actually amount are actually late, but I don't really care because you can see that no loans actually uh, go through the 60 plus days late because I have this buy by guarantee. Whenever something goes from this category to this category here, it's just automatically pay back uh, to my account. This here, uh, as we are talking about my account, is basically some mistake I made at the start. I invested in some loans without a buy by guarantee and this basically went into default, right? So just be very careful, as I showed you, please activate the buy back guarantee in your account so you will avoid some bad surprises. And once this is done, you are basically ready to invest on Mintos. So just to sum up, open the account, just put some money using uh, the deposit panel here, then go on loan listing, just check around some loans just to see what the different parameters mean, and then use the auto invest function just as I showed you inside this tutorial. And basically, you are now ready to start investing via Mintos. And after that, the only thing that you will need to do is, as I said, just go over Mintos every month or so, maybe to deposit more funds, right? To just um, put more investment on your account and just monitor that everything is going well as you defined inside your auto invest function. So this is the end of this tutorial about how to get started investing on peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms. So I show you how to do that on Mintos. I really hope that this was useful to you and that it will actually give you the motivation to get started to invest your own money on peer-to-peer -peer lending 
It's one of the three pillars of my investment strategy along with dividend investing and real estate. And it's actually the one producing the higher yield. So, and it's also very easy to automate as you saw in this video. So I really recommend to check that out. So if you have any questions or comments about the content of this video, please leave that below. That being said, thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.